Hello my friend, welcome to Breakfast with Sergio. In today's episode, let's talk about five reasons, five reasons why artists may fail at creating or building a successful value or work around a team or idea. There are many artists who fail, who try it or have tried it before and have failed. So I want to give you those five reasons why they are and why you want to avoid it. My name is Sergio Gomez. I'm an artist, curator, gallery owner, author and co-founder of the Art Next Level program. And my goal with this channel is to make marketing and art business easy so that you can grow your art career, find new opportunities, sell more art and spend more time creating in the studio. Well, my friend, super happy to be back here with you in breakfast with Sergio. Today I'm having a beautiful, amazing torta. Torta is like a Mexican sandwich and it is great. I love tortas any time of the day or night. So. That's what I have. That's what's coming. So already smells really good. So let's talk about five reasons why artists may fail at creating a successful body of work, you know, around a theme or an idea that you may have. And by the way, in my previous video, we talked about the benefits. We talked about five benefits of building a body of work. So if you haven't seen that. I should you check that out. Go back and check my previous episode. All right. So let's go for the first one. The first reason why artists fail at building a body of work is because they lack commitment. You know, they lack commitment. Building or creating a body of work requires needs, demands, your commitment, demands of you stay focused. As if you remember from what I said last time, one of the benefits is you can focus on something. Well, many artists have a hard time focusing. So they start a body of work, they start this series of works and you know, they do one, and two, and they start to lose connection to the world. They start to lose, you know, the focus. They now they want to jump into something totally different. So there's no commitment, right? There's a lack of commitment. And because there's a lack of commitment, then that body of work will never be finished. Or they're just trying to rush it to get it out of the way so they can jump into something totally different. The second reason why many artists fail at building a body of work is they don't have sufficient planning or sufficient research done you know, in advance of their project. So I said last time, if you want to build a body of work, you have to research, you gotta get ready, you gotta prepare, you gotta think about ideas, possibilities, you know, think outside the box as you build this body of work. So when you don't do enough research and planning, what happens is you start the series, uh, however many pieces you are working on, and then you start getting kind of like losing momentum. You start uh, losing excitement. Uh, you start kind of lacking of ideas, you know, you start lacking of, you know, material to move on, to move forward in your series. Yeah, it all sounded great when you came out with the title of the series, but then all of a sudden it's like, what else should I say? What else should I make? So making sure that you do proper research and planning ahead of time, you know, will make things a lot easier at the time of you building this amazing body of work. All right, let's talk about the third a reason why many artists fail at building a successful body of work. And I believe uh, this one is also very important is that there's inconsistent execution. You know, they have a strong idea, they have a strong statement, they have a strong research, but they're not consistent in the execution. So every piece looks totally different to the one before, um, you know, they're all over the place different sizes, different medium for every piece. And in their mind, it might make sense, you know, this body of work, but when you actually present it, when you step back and you look at it, it's like, okay, you know, how do they connect with each other? How do they uh, also relate to each other? How do they interact with each other? How this piece lives as a family, right? Can you trace, you know, uh, the relationship between the first painting and the third one in the series or the edition or, you know, uh, that you are building this body of work. I believe a good, strong body of work has a balance, a balance between elements that you recognize and a balance of things that make each one, each piece unique and different on its own. At the end of the day, the way I think of a body of work is each painting is a sentence that when you put it together, it creates a, this beautiful paragraph uh, about this idea that you want to say to the viewer. So super important, something to think about. All right, the number four thing that I believe is a huge uh, drawback, a huge mistake that help, that makes artists to fail at building a body of work is just lack of feedback or critique. In other words, 
you know, they don't have anybody to talk about ideas, anybody to look at what they're doing, anybody to share what's happening. So they're going through like this season of working in this body of work. But I believe as artists, we need feedback. We need also, you know, relations of other artists or people that we trust uh, that can also look at what we're doing and, and see how are we communicating those ideas. You know, something that I love about art school, for example, that I miss of art school, art school, particularly at the graduate level, is that you have a lot of feedback. You, know, you get feedback from your community panel, you know, also from your uh, fellow uh, classmates. And it's a wonderful environment, right? Because when you're in art school, you know, people give ideas to each other. You know, the, we, we give that, that, that critique that we all need. And as artists, when we are out in the world, or even if you are a, uh, uh, also an artist who, you know, just came to art on your own and you never went to art school, that's okay. You know, you still need critique and feedback. We all need it. Even if you went to art school, it doesn't matter. You know, where you came from, we all need critique and feedback as we go through our career. So particularly on building a body of work, definitely you want to make it successful. So that's a, a big also mistake that many artists make is not getting that feedback or critique, you know, as they go and building and the body work, particularly from people that you trust, right? From people that know that are going to help you, you know, get better to succeed in this body of work. Uh, another reason which why artists may fail at creating a successful body of work around a theme or idea is that they do not adapt. You know, they have an inability to adapt and evolve. In other words, everything looks the same. Uh, you've seen one work and you've seen them all. You know, I think, you know, the, the strong body of work is a progression. It will allow you as an artist to progress, to evolve, to adapt to this thing that you want to do and really push yourself out of the box, really push yourself forward, really take yourself into unknown territory as an artist, right? Take yourself into places that you have never been to as an artist in your creative studio. That's a way in which you got to push yourself, you know, to this is as a place where you're going to learn the most, place where you're going to take higher risks. So many artists fail to do that, I believe. And uh, because of that, you know, your body of work may not be as good, may not be as successful because everything will look totally exactly the same. And, you know, there has to be something that when you started that first piece, by the time you get to the last piece, there has to be growth. There has to be a, a newer understanding. You are a different artist from first to last. And that is something that I find so fascinating and beautiful about building a body of work that is successful. So my friends, those are the five things that you definitely want to avoid when building a body of work. And if you need help with building a body of work in the month of April, I'm going to be doing inside the Art Next Level program, which is my coaching and mentoring program. I'm going to be doing a challenge for all artists who want to build a body of work so that you have a plan, so you have a roadmap, so you have everything that you need on how to start it, how to approach it, how to get to work at it, how to market that, that also work of art, and how to sell it, everything that you need to know from beginning to end on building a body of work. So it's going to be really good. It's all happening inside the Art Next Level program. All you got to do, if you want to be part of it, just go to the artistnextlevel.com website. You will see it on my screen probably. Go there, sign up to become a member of the program. And once you become a member, you immediately will have access, first of all, to all my resources, to my weekly Q&As, everything. And then, you know, when it comes to April, you will be ready to be part of that challenge. And we're going to help you out. I'm going to read your proposals for, uh, you know, for your body of work, your ideas. I'm going to give you feedback as well. Others will give you feedback. It's going to be really awesome because every week we have activities planned for this is going to be great. Now, you don't have to build your body of work in April, but at least you can have, you can create your, your roadmap, your planning, so that you're ready to start your work or continue if this is something that you have already started. So, my friend, hope you enjoyed this episode. Keep watching Brave Fight with Sergio because I have a whole lot of really great episodes for you coming along the way. And last thing, if you have ideas on something that you want me to talk about in future Brave Fight with Sergio episodes, please let me know. Send me a message, DM me. They say, hey, Sergio, would you talk about X, Y, and Z. And I'll be happy to put it on my list of topics to explore for the future. Have a great day, my friend. And I'm going to get back to this amazing torta. My God, it's so good. See you later. Bye. But wait, before you leave this video, if you are an artist who wants to grow your art career and wants to achieve greater success, make sure you check out the Art Next Level program. You will find a link under this video. Don't forget to subscribe 
and check out the next video that we have recommended just for you.